Brian. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading down 16, Nasdaq's up 65, S&P's up 8.5. Let's take a look at one of our four agreements. To master love, you have to practice love. The art of relationship is a whole mastery, and the only way to reach mastery is with practice. To master a relationship is therefore about taking action, not about attaining knowledge. Market-wise, folks, we have the Dow uh, right now uh, down, well, uh, now it's flat. You get the NASDAQ up 75, S&Ps are up 11, gold, gold contract down $24.80, trading at $18.95 an ounce. We have silver down 37 cents, $22.71 an ounce, light sweet crude, bidding it up. 338, 93.77, notes and bonds. The 10 year note down 15 ticks, trading 107.20. The 30 year off 25 at 113.19. And King Doll, you just can't stop it, man. The market just higher King Doll, lower the market. Here we go. So you got King Doll up uh, 377 ticks, 106,608. Euros at 105. Yen's trading at 149 British pounds at 1. 21 to 1 U.S. dollar. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Teddy Kegstat. Teddy, folks, is going to be doing a live workshop coming right up after the show, 4 to 5 Eastern Standard Time. He is going to be talking about how to capitalize on time with calendar stock option spreads uh, 4 to 5 this afternoon. It's only $97, folks, okay, to really get to understand how calendar spreads work inside the option market. Teddy Kegstat, how you doing, man? I'm doing well, Tom. Good to see you. You also. You also. So tell us a little bit about, yeah, you have a market for this, that's for sure. <laughs> that's right. We have volatility. You know, it's kind of funny uh, with uh, the S&Ps and the NASDAQ tanking, uh, we'll be able to look at some definitely some uh, put calendar spreads. So, yeah, I'm, it's going to be, I'm interested in uh, or looking forward to the, the webinar. We have a lot of nice uh, opportunities in the market uh, that I'm going to go over uh, that are fresh and that have recently happened and, you know, show uh, all the viewers how they can incorporate calendar spreads into their uh, option strategies. You know, there's you know, all kinds of option strategies out there, and there's times when calendar spreads actually give you uh, a lot of bang for your buck, especially when you're, you know, you can use it if you when you own a stock and if you don't own a stock and if you or if you're thinking about getting into a stock there's reasons why calendar spreads sometimes are the way to go and teddy and folks okay this is what's so cool it's all about decay right yes yeah and so if you know teddy was a professional down on the floor okay anyone that's down on the floor folks okay they wake up every morning and they say okay how much decay do i have today right <laughs> mm -hmm. It's, 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 you know, yeah, I mean, directionally, folks, okay, you know, we know that there's no crystal ball out here. But, you know, it's funny, Teddy, they're really, it's not a crystal ball, but because there's so many people that don't understand options, they don't understand decay. And, like, decay, right. decay is the heaviest part of the whole freaking deal. You're trading time. Yeah, right, right, right. Right. Yeah, absolutely. You know, absolutely. I, I, and it gives you a really good reward to risk ratio from your decay from the front month to the back month leg as well. So that's what you look for in any trade to begin with is you want a good reward to risk ratio. Exactly. I'll tell you a wild story. So yeah. in the run up in, uh, you know, in the 90s, right, I, I put on a couple options trades. I knew nothing about options, right, <laughs> like everyone else, right? Um, I had a Dell. I had a Dell trade, and the it was a call I had, and I woke up. You know, Dell. Dell came out with their numbers, right? And Dell was up mm -hmm. like you know. At that point, we were always dealing with small numbers, folks. But Dell was up like ten dollars, right? And I said, "Oh my God, we're going to make so much money. It's unbelievable." Well, the bottom line, folks, is that. I broke even because, you know, I didn't even know what a premium was. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like I looked at him saying, right. hold it, what's wrong here, man? I, I was right. I, you know, I paid like a buck 20 for this. It was 10 bucks out of the money. But I mean, guess what? Yeah, right. You know, so I got, I got to learn a lot after that because I love the OEX. I mean, that was. Mm -hmm. This that, is how we learn, right? <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, unfortunately. But guess what? You don't have to learn like this, folks, okay? Because this is the type of class that you can understand. You get a full hour to capitalize on how calendar spreads work. You know? So uh, what do you think about this dollar move, man? 
Well, you know what? It's all yield indicative right now. I mean, you can see the yeah. business cycle. The cycle of businesses right now is really it's, for, it's working. You have interest rates, gold, and equities, and it's you can see that right now yields are driving those moves incredibly right now. Right. You know, and the, and the pricing also, Tom. You got to remember, we just made recent new lows in the 30-year and the 10-year, but we're at a level where we were a year ago and we hadn't had all these rate increases. So fair value is below where we're at right now. We're getting to you know basically fair value. Right. So when you have pricing in, which you've you know, explained to us and educated on this, the, so the yield of the country is going to have a lot to do with the currency of the country and um, where it's yes. going to go, right? Okay, cool. Right. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, pretty wild, man. Because these yields look still look relentless. <laughs> I mean, I, yes. You know, last week I was thinking, that, hey man, I think we're topping out. And then it was like these wide price spreads. Even today, it's like this dollar, man. The next swing point is that. It's uh, funny you say that, Tom, because Friday, the, the 30 year, I even had it in the Tiger Forex report. We had a short term counter trend buy signal. It was negated right away on Monday. Yeah. You know, so yeah. I mean, that is that that tells you the momentum of this scenario that it really is it is fighting for a fair value right now that's cool man i like that yeah because I, I get it. I, that's a lot easier to digest right i mean mm -hmm. it really is in the, in the context of you know where it is well listen folks it's very easy to get into this workshop come over to our website at tfnn you're going to see it right under featured content uh man teddy cakes that he's going to be up at four to five uh, this afternoon you're going to learn a great amount and you know as tommy says in the morning you know, even if you don't trade options, folks, it's great to understand what the derivative is doing because you can understand the equity market a lot more. I mean, if you, you know, I, I was reading today, Teddy, right, there's a, there's a huge trade on that J.P. Morgan has on, but they only, they only have it on because that one of their um, ETFs, basically that's how it works, right? Mm -hmm. And it's intriguing because... You know, reading it, I got, I understood what they were doing, but if you don't understand options, you don't understand like, okay, how can it keep be, keep driving right. lower, and you know, I mean, that's how it works. I mean, right. I, you know, that delta neutral, folks, is a big deal. So market mechanics, right? <laughs> yep, exactly. Come over to our website, folks, at TFNN. You're going to see Teddy right in the featured content. Get in that webinar, folks. Teddy, we look forward to the webinar in 45 minutes, man. Thanks, Tom. Thank see you. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back.